Because we're talking filmmaking, I'm actually going to let you know what little I know. I picked up some tips from Clint Eastwood. Doesn't use the word action. Has the whole crew on radio. We never called action, never called cut. When the guy screams, action! He comes right up, you know, I did some stuff on set and the director would say, okay, how are you feeling? You feel good? You, uh, you have the motion? You, where are you? What are you feeling? What do you want? You want her. How do you want her? Good, you got it? Good, everyone's eating, like an egg? You got it? Very good, okay, good. Okay, great. Good. I'll get the crew ready. Okay, great. All right, roll the effing sound. F this, screw that, suck this, push that, whatever. All right, scream, mother, hate your family, whatever. Good. Yeah. Now go, action. Like, you just, it shatters, shatters the egg. You, why, why, why set so, set so much up with the actor and then destroy it with the, with the, with the bells and the screaming. To keep the acting loose, we, we don't call action. We don't call cut. And when we do, I'd walk up and I'd say, okay, cut, whatever, uh, but we keep the cameras rolling. And I'd say, great, so um, what's, what would you do different? What would you do, what would you say differently? And the kid goes, ah, oh, you know, what I meant to do was this. I go, well, show me, we'll think it, we'll see it, let me see it. So the guy would do it and I go, that's great. And cut. <laughs> it's like, I don't watch the monitor. I sit by the camera. Sometimes I don't even watch the scene. I'm just I'm hearing it. Because to stare at someone is sometimes awkward. So your girlfriend comes tomorrow, huh? It's like I'm not allowed to. Hey, what's up, Sparkles? No one's perfect, but she's perfect for me. Tits and ass, baby, all right. I just don't know how she feels. It's okay. It's easier without you. I need a good pitch. Get the ball, Sparkles! I will kick you in the baby maker! He made a lot of choices um, to keep the show fluid. There aren't that many professional children actors. What you get are children. When you're looking for kids, you're just looking for authentic kids who aren't who aren't shy on camera. And it's not like working with child actors. There's just actors. We're all children. My parents are children. They're someone's children. Everyone wants to know you're listening to them. They want to know you're watching them. Actors of all age, you work with them the same. How to explain to an eight-year-old? Mm, sardonic. <laughs> You know, Scott Bowden got it. He was with it. There were a couple professionals and the rest were just, just classy kids. I saw a couple thousand kids. We looked in Chicago, New York, Los Angeles, Florida, Vancouver, Montreal, Toronto, Halifax. We sifted through thousands to find 14, four main, and then some background. And uh, they're brilliant. Then we'd, there were some kids we'd wrote, we rewrite scenes around. We did a location scout to just logistics to see where we could put the Jenny, the generator, and how we'd fit some things. And the counselor said, you gotta meet this kid. He's brilliant. So I don't, script's written, we're done. He says, no, no, you gotta meet this one kid. Kid comes out of the shower house. He's, he's four feet in every direction. It's adorable. He's got a two inch towel that can only cover the front or the back, whichever one you choose. He's doing, kid comes up and they go, fine, we're gonna meet, why don't you meet this kid? And they go, oh, dude, they said, dude, 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 you're, you're, covered, you're covered in soap. You're not, you're not done, get, get back. He goes, he goes, oh, bubbles. He drops into the mud and just starts rolling into some puddle. Liquid, get out, get, get back in the shower. You're freaking, now you're dirty too. So we came up with this character, Mud, on the set. Oh God, this can't feel like prison. Sometimes to reach the broadest market, they have to keep it clean. But you don't have to neuter the, 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 the moral impression the kids are giving. I mean, let's, it's, you're just disrespecting their, their trauma. I wanted to make a horror film. The horrors of being 10. You don't have to stab someone to make it rootless. You can, you can stab their, their, their ambitions. The kids are just out there for the first time being themselves. In other movies, they have to be something that they're told. This is what a child is. A child is four feet and feels this way. And the kid's like, I don't feel that way, but if you need me to because that's what you say I am, I... We're oppressing these children. It's not just the pretty pictures in the magazines, but the pretty characters we're putting on screen. With everything you do, you take with you something that's relevant. In animation, we pre-edit the films. We storyboard thoroughly. You know, sure knows I, I, I drew the crap out of this film. And then you get the set with all that, and you're ready, and then you throw that out because the kid wants something else, and that's what, what's right, because it's authentic. And, you know, we use scenes that were, the rule was, if it was authentic, if, for example, if it was out of focus, but real, we'd use it. If it was sharp, but put on, we'd throw it. There's scenes in the movie, there's scenes in the movie, they're out of focus. But they're better, they're better put, the performance is more um, genuine than the stuff that was, sh 
that was sharp. And my feeling is this. There are things you have, if you're gonna put your energy in terms of, um, if you're running out of time and you're gonna put your energy in stuff, make sure it's in the acting. There's leeway. There's leeway. When you're, when, when you're pressed for filmmaking, there's leeway with your, with your, with your continuity. There's leeway with your, there's leeway with your, um, with your, what's in focus. As long as your art is in focus, the audience will, will they're involved, they're involved emotionally and that's, they'll keep them, they'll forgive you.